Hey friends, in this video I want to talk about a skill associated with love practice, which is radiating love. And this video has been inspired in part by making a post recently called The Path of Love Skill Tree, which I'd really recommend checking out if you're interested in love practice and then in going deeper into it. And one of the reasons I'm really excited about this post, among many, is that it really gives me, myself, a way to describe and connect to my own growth edges with my love practice. And this skill of radiating love is very much something that I'm interested in cultivating and going more deeply into. And so I want to share that with you and talk about it. From the perspective of the skill tree, one of the prerequisites for this skill is that you can feel love in your heart, that you're able to feel love, that you're able to generate a felt embodied sense of love in your heart, that you can feel in your emotional body, that you can do so reliably, even on demand. And that's a pretty feasible thing for people to do. Most of my guided meditations are designed to help you with this specific skill of learning to cultivate love, learning to feel it in your body. And at that point, the name of the game becomes pretty simple. Feel love as often as possible, as deeply as possible, really letting it inform how you experience your perception, just steering towards love as much as possible. And one of the ways to do that is with, with this is with this skill of radiating love. And another of the prerequisites for radiating love is being able to notice and work with and expand your awareness. For me, Michael Ashcroft's course on Alexander Technique was extremely useful for learning to notice and work with and expand my awareness. I absolutely recommend his course or perhaps working with another Alexander Technique teacher. Um, I do know that the Evolving Ground community is doing some really lovely work at making practices with awareness available for contemporary Western practitioners, really inspired by Vajrayana Buddhism. And of course, there are other traditional Vajrayana Buddhist practices that are working with this and probably in other contemplative traditions as well. But for me, it was really the Alexander Technique stuff that helped me to do this and Michael's course in particular. So I definitely recommend that. And if you have these two prerequisite skills of being able to feel love in an embodied way and being able to notice and expand your awareness, then it starts to make sense to radiate love outwards. And you start to notice that love has a spatial quality where you can feel it in a specific region of your body, typically starting in your heart, in your emotional heart center, but that it radiates outwards. It fills your body and even extends past your body and that you can increase that both the intensity of love that you feel, but also the spatial expansion of that love. And you can almost turn up the dial of intensity of how much you're radiating love. And that's something you can learn to work with. I think one of the first inspirations for this for me was Shinzen's video of becoming a high wattage broadcaster of human positivity. And he sort of alluded to this and talked about a monk that he'd met who really radiated love outwards and it was just so palpable that people wanted to spend time with him and uh, it felt good to be around him and there are some other sources that talk about this as well i think of course there's the the metta sutra which talks about this love that radiates in all directions and that you're cultivating that and definitely recommend reading the metta sutra if you are a love practitioner and of course, for me, one of the big inspirations as well was Peace Pilgrim. And she talks about how one of the reasons that she started to go on her pilgrimage, her, on her walking pilgrimage, was that she wanted to do a prayer practice and let the walking be a kind of prayer discipline, as she said, and that she was learning how to focus and concentrate on her prayer for peace. And eventually, she didn't need that anymore. And she learned how to prayer, pray without ceasing, that she had this kind of ceaseless prayer that was happening all of the time. And people would start to ask her, they'd say, hey, peace, could you pray for me at such and such a time about such and such a thing? And she'd say, hey, I'm just always praying. So you can, you can join me at that time if you want to, but I'll be praying. And 
that starts to be one of the focuses of love practice is to pray without ceasing, to radiate love without ceasing. She was praying for peace, but you can also radiate love without ceasing. And this isn't a skill that I've unlocked yet. I don't have that degree of concentration or focus, but that's sort of the edge in my own practice is learning how to radiate love with more intensity and also with more continuity such that there's just this ceaseless love happening that I'm radiating love all of the time towards all beings in all places and times and also realms. It starts to make sense that that would be possible, that you could just feel this love and feel this love and radiate it outwards in all directions, towards all beings, towards all places and times and realms, if there's a multiverse, towards all of the universes, and that it would, your love would just fill the whole universe, the whole multiverse. And that's really a palpable desire for me. And it makes sense that that would be possible. And you just want to work towards that. Like, oh, this makes sense. And it's a little tricky to describe this desire. And the words may not make sense or may not may resonate if you haven't learned to feel this love in your body or you haven't worked on cultivating this desire to love all beings or you haven't worked with your awareness. But if some of these prerequisites are in place, if the conditions are in place, then it just makes sense. Oh, I could just keep doing this and I could keep feeling this love all the time and the love could grow in the intensity and it could grow in the spatial dimensions that it takes that it resonates out, radiates out towards, and that it would reach all beings in all places, in all times, in all realms. And you start to yearn for that. You start to desire that. Oh, I want to love all beings in all places and all times. I want to radiate that kind of love outwards. And this is very much a desire that I have and something that I'm working on in practice. Who knows when or whether I'll be able to reach that goal, but that's a goal that I have in practice to radiate love constantly towards all beings in all places and times. And I wanted to share it with you in case that's inspiring for you in your love practice and uh, really happy to be telling you about it and would love to hear any thoughts that you may have about it.